time is money. Uh, this especially holds true in the motor repair industry. Uh, we at Laser Technologies understand the difference between winning or losing the order comes down to, in a lot of cases, how quickly you can turn, turn around a motor core for your customer. Um, with that understanding, uh, Laser Technologies uh, has been uh, specializing in lamination, specifically for the motor industry, for over 37 years. Uh, we were actually the, the first laser shop in North America to do laminations in general. So uh, we've been doing it way longer than any of our competition. And uh, as you can see, uh, we've got the horsepower here to accommodate uh, anything from uh, a small NEMA motor all the way up to uh, full core hydro and turbine generators and everything in between. Part of our uh, strategy to uh, service uh, that motor repair market is uh, starts right with the raw material. Uh, behind me, um, we have uh, coils of uh, non-grain oriented and grain oriented electrical steel. Uh, each one of these coils is about 20,000 pounds. Uh, so you can see we're very well uh, stocked uh, with material um, to be able to respond quickly to uh, getting you the uh, specific grade and uh, core losses and permeabilities uh, that you might need for a particular job. Um, as you look around, um, you know, we've probably got a few million pounds of steel here on our floor. Um, if it gets beyond that or if there's um, a special uh, alloy or, or special coating that you need, uh, we have uh, also uh, service centers that are local to us that we work with. Uh, in order to procure uh, those kind of oddball type materials that might not be common in everyday occurrence. Okay. Uh, here also is an inventory of, uh, these are uh, I-beam bars. Um, we stock different uh, widths and heights of uh, I-beam and these are used for uh, your vent plates or your vent assemblies. A lot of large motors um, require uh, also, in addition to laminations, uh, vent assemblies to be manufactured. Uh, these come in about a, anywhere from a 15 or 12 to 20 foot bar. And um, again, we stock many different sizes and configurations to service the most common requirements that are out there. Um, so that's where it all starts with laser technologies is raw material. In order to get you a quick turnaround, we have to make this investment up front to have it on stock, ready to go, so we can turn jobs around in days, not months. So the next step in our process is we take our raw material coils and we actually uh, put it up on an arbor and we cut the material to length. So um, basically the arbor is set onto this loading coil. This moves in, sets it on center on the arbor, and then it gets fed through a leveler which will take the coil set out of the material and then we feed it into our press where we actually cut the material to length so our engineers will uh, look at your your particular laminations they'll lay them out on a sheet and we'll cut that sheet to the optimal length in order to reduce any material waste which will save you you know your your customer and uh, yourself cost and we get better yields than on our laser with less waste. So as the material feeds past the uh, coiler, taking the coil set out, um, we're also able, a lot of times from the mill, we may get other uh, conditions in the material and this leveler allows us to take those conditions out as well. Again, you want to try and get your material as perfectly flat as possible, <coughs> which will aid in the stacking process, the precision and the alignment of the stack. Um, from the leveler, it goes into a pit, and this just gives us a little bit of play to, to work with the feed of the press. It then goes into a, uh, a feeder, which is feeding the material into the press. And you need to scan back on this. And then we have a uh, shearing die here, which is cutting the material to the specific length, to the specific length 
uh, that's required for that particular job. So in this case, uh, we're cutting some smaller sheets uh, for a uh, smaller job that's been nested. We also have the ability to angle shear parts. So if you get into like a, a turbine generator type lamination, a pie shaped lamination, uh, we're able to actually uh, cut the material at an angle, again, optimizing the material and reducing waste. Here the material is getting stacked onto a pallet, and this pallet, once it's uh, up to a certain stack height, will get moved over to the lasers, and this is what the operators will pull from for your particular job. This is a non-grain oriented material with a C5 coating. It's uh, most likely an M19 or M15 grade material. Um, our shop is a uh, ISO 9001 uh, 2015 certified shop. Uh, we run over 20 CNC lasers on a 24-7 uh, 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 basis. So um, we're here to staff our uh, our customers with the quickest turnaround time we can possibly offer. Um, some of the big differences between uh, our company and, and other guys that do laminations, um, I would say the biggest advantage we have is our investment and our quality in engineering. Um, receiving a lamination and not having it right in a quick time frame doesn't do any of us any good. Um, so we've, uh, we've made a tremendous investment over the years in hiring uh, manufacturing engineers uh, to process the parts. Um, we're holding tolerances as tight as plus or minus a thousandth on key features. And with that type of accuracy comes a lot of know-how and design and, and the fixturing and the way we run our parts. Uh, in addition to engineering the product, uh, we need to be able to measure the product accurately. Um, there's nothing uh, more critical in this type of assembly than getting those laminations uh, to repeat from one to the other on a CNC piece of equipment and stack in perfect alignment so that when you guys receive it at your shop, you can get the coils in and get to what you're doing best, which is winding the core and getting it back up and running for your customer. Um, we have uh, two optical CMM machines uh, that we use to measure the laminations. We also have a probe type CMM machine that we use to measure full stack cores. Um, so we are, we are able to pre precisely measure our parts, not only in process, but as a final assembly, using those machines down to tenths of a thousandth of an inch. So um, we're really doing some amazing things here at Laser Technologies when it comes to precision and accuracy. Uh, other things that we do well here um, are keeping our uh, our materials um, that we typically use in, uh, in, in stock so that we can pull directly from our inventory rather than going to outside suppliers. Um, this uh, also helps reduce the, uh, the time it takes to process the job and get it out quickly. Um, an average job is typically quoted in a two to three week time frame depending on the complexity of the job. <laughs> if it's a full core restack, where we're disassembling and reassembling the core uh, and reverse engineering and doing everything in between. Uh, those are typically a four week lead time. However, if uh, in those instances where you might need uh, accelerated lead times or expedited lead times, uh, we have the ability to process and quote those jobs as well. We're slowly transitioning our shop where we can into more automated type equipment, uh, which will allow us to uh, process jobs on a 24-7 uh, basis. Uh, what that means for motor repair is uh, less interruptions uh, due to breaks during the day, uh, more run time on a 24-hour period, uh, being that uh, you know, we're only running 20 hour shifts or 20 hours a day now with two shifts. Um, so it's, it's allowed us to um, alleviate our third shift and get uh, high, high production, high precision, repeatability on very high-end machines uh, to turn jobs over quicker. So um, this is our first um, you know, robot uh, cell that has both 
material loading and part separation. So this one uh, is totally hands off. Uh, we have a couple of other smaller cells um, that are for small OEM laminations that do similar operations just without the separation. Another key component which differentiates laser technologies from our competition is our ability to apply core plate coating to the laminations after processing. Uh, so for a lot of large motors, large generators, <laughs> and critical motor ap uh, applications, uh, such as nuclear power as an example, um, after the processing of the, of the parts on a laser, or, or stamp parts, uh, if it's a higher production job, um, the dross or the burr that's created by that processing needs to be removed. Uh, as in that removal process, um, you're also removing a, a thin layer around the edge of the part of the insulation, the C5 uh, core plate coating that's uh, present on the raw material. Um, so in those applications where it's critical that it's, it's completely coated to uh, alleviate any kind of current draws and any current losses, uh, we'll go through the process of reapplying uh, a C5 coating to the laminations. Um, it's a roll coating process. Uh, we've been doing this for over 25 years, uh, so we're experts at it. Uh, we have two, co two core plate coating lines uh, that run uh, multiple shifts per day. Um, so we have the ability to process a lot of laminations. And um, essentially what we're doing is uh, the parts go through a, uh, a, cl a cleaning process here where, the, where, they're, where they're cleaned and processed, they get dried off, and then they're gonna roll down the line into a roll coating system. And this is where the uh, core plate coating is applied. Uh, so we'll put about three to four microns of coating per side on those laminations to assure full insulation. Once they get applied, they go through a uh, oven and they get cured to a temperature and adhere to and then they come out the line and get stacked onto pallets uh, where they'll either get packaged and shipped to the customer if it's a large you know, segment lamination that they're gonna stack in how, uh, in, on their, their, their site or they'll go to the next step in the process if we're gonna do the stacking and uh, it'll go to the uh, welding department to get stacked and welded.